Also in a related development, an Ambro State Deputy Governor Dr. Nyekatkui Bezim has called on religious bodies in the state to partner Professor Chuko Masoludo led administration with their prayers for spiritual guidance and positive transformation in the state. Deputy Governor Ibezim made the call when he represented the state governor, Professor Chuko Masoludo, at the Anambra State Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria PFM Professionals Meeting Maiden Congress held at the Namdaziki University, Oka. Government House Correspondent Emmanuel Okonfo again has the details. The event with the theme Engaging PFM Professionals Towards Building. A sustainable development in the state attracted PFN professional members from across the state and exposed them to their responsibilities in nation building and good governance. Deputy Governor Ibezim explained that the present government has a lot of good vision and plan for the state and emphasized on the need for Christians to back them up with their prayers and humanly support for the actualization. He assured that the Saludo government will keep supporting religious bodies in the state for all round development and total emancipation of the state. So we need to actually know what we want. We are in perilous time and this is the time for us to really go on our knees and pray to God as professionals, good heads. Okay? We are looking up to here and the governor, the first governor to institute early morning service in the Lord. And the can't come to Pentecostals, in a presentation on the challenges of sustaining missions in the 21st century lessons from history, Director General International Institute of National Transformation, Professor Vincent Anibogo, said it is high time Christians took over their rightful position in leadership and stopped shying away from political and other leadership positions in the society, pointing out that leadership positions need people of godly knowledge and insight for excellence and efficiency. On day three, he created the land. What is the land? Infrastructure. So if you're a commissioner for infrastructure, who are you working for? Who will hold you accountable? Therefore, you are a minister. You can call yourself a politician, but in God's eyes, you're managing his resources. I don't know if I'm connected. And professors here, your job is to connect that discipline to God. If you're not doing that, you are raising half-big students who will never have a fear of God. They will separate their discipline from God not knowing that God wants it. Speaking, the National Secretary, Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, Reverend Dr. Cosmas Hilechuku, noted that Christians do not have dual lifestyle, but life of holiness unto God, which according to him is expected to be a daily characteristic of every believer at all times. So I said, if every Christian professional and businessman goes into the marketplace, not just with the objective of making only money, but also of creating biblical influence, eventually things will begin to happen right. Corruption will be abetted and be reduced drastically, if not eradicated. An Ambra State Chairman P. FN Bishop Moses Ezedebego, Vice Chancellor Nam Diaziko University, Oka Professor Charles Esimone, among others, were present at the event.